the discussion with, with the team i i believe we should i mean i mean you as a community or you as a part of the project should uh, very much know about this uh, not to worry i'm sounding serious but it's 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 not a worry to the project or something like that but it's it's an it's an information which you should know so now uh, fanwelt we began fanwelt development uh, could say let's take it by the jan of 2022 uh, yes and if you see fanwelt the gameplay is a bit could say complex different but the app is not that and uh, the development side of fanwelt uh, could let's say if we take it into all the research and everything it's not more than 3 months that's the max and uh, uh, we started in january now it's december it's 12 months and we did not deliver you the app we did an alpha testing but you know alpha testing was stopped so the reason is uh, the development team by fanwelt uh, was in collaboration with another company. I mean, they were a company before, they still are a company, but, uh, you know, they joined us and uh, they were exclusively only working for Fabbuilt. Uh, so, I mean, things were going well. Uh, we established the studios and we still are a studio. Now, I'll come to that point. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, recently there were some kind of mess agreements and uh, we ended up, you know, uh, breaking the contract and uh, now now we do not, now they are not a part of Fabbuilt and we do not work with them. Since then, uh, we have been uh, in, in, could say, in construction of our own team and could say we have, we have found some very good devs who are working on Fanbuilt and Arsenal and H2O. Uh, let's say the entire development of Fabbuilt about eight to nine months uh, went to zero because they uh, actually messed up with the app and this is why uh, we had to you know part ways uh, they messed up with the app uh, and somewhere in the middle of August I would say August no October in the middle of October I'm sorry in the middle of October, we introduced Fanwell to the new team. And this is why we were not able to, you know, continue with the alpha test because we began Fanwell again, but with a different uh, platform now as Unity. And we chose Unity because we want to maintain that uniformity uh, because Arsenal is on Unity too. Even, even like, let's say, if, if we are going to port it or change it to some other platform, it would be easy to shift two games on the same platform. Uh, so it's been two months now. Fanbuilt is under development. Uh, we tried really very hard to introduce Fanbuilt during the World Cup, but we couldn't. Uh, and now, you know, the previous team which worked on Fanbuilt for about eight months, the current team of Fanbuilt, I mean, it's it's like actually Fanbuilt has done that in less than two months. Uh, I would say today we received the app is complete until until just before the alpha test what we had before previously and uh, sorry to miss the world cup you know it's a, it's a shame that we couldn't give it to you um, you can question us about it but you know this is why i have to open up and uh, uh, i would say by the end of this year uh, we target still target to do the alpha test before going to the you know, Christmas holidays or the New Year holidays or whatever. And then once we are back after the holidays, Fanwell should be uh, up for a beta version. We believe so. And until February, uh, we should be having cricket and football both integrated. Football is done. Cricket was previously done. But, you know, let's say two, both of the sports tested uh, parallelly and both of them working without hindrances. For Feb, we should be ready with everything and the beta should be uh, going live in the month of February. Uh, starting uh, by the you know, month of April, we have a very big tournament coming up in terms of sports, live sports. And the, uh, the, the year of 2023, we would see 
two special tournaments uh, on the cricket side and of course football is a never ending sport which goes for you know um, uh, entire year let if if you take the domestic part of it so this is what i wanted to convey uh, you might be thinking what are they doing and why isn't it happening uh, so this was the reason and we also had to focus a lot on arsenal uh, since the depart of the old team we have seen arsenal is i mean you guys can negate me or support me it's i i, I do not know because you have been seen since since a year now we have seen arsenal uh progressing really very well uh with the help of new team and of course bb was always there uh but yeah now he gets uh, a a lot uh, could say mature support from the team and uh, if if i come to the positive side of 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 what's happening we have announced the mobile version to go live on on christmas eve uh so that would be on the android side and uh, while we are working on the ios side um it's the only you know issue with ios is apple is really strict in, in terms of launching crypto apps and we are looking into it uh and the commencement of next year will see uh you know larger tournaments uh, will be organized by us and uh, we are already in talks with a couple of them uh about now now you know we do tournaments with let's say 10 20 uh, the upcoming tournaments one of them is about uh, with 70 uh, white listed members i mean who are going to make it to the finals uh, let's say uh, how do we call us um, after the preliminary rounds and uh, there would be 70 members uh, who would be you know playing this tournament and then the second tournament we somewhere estimate the numbers to be around 200 uh and papa is is taking care of it <clears throat> so yes so the the commencement of tournaments will allow us uh, uh to expose and to bring in new players and the one uh, i would say the one path which was which or the the one road which wasn't built uh to get access to many users was the guild system and uh, and you know the guild system works in terms of how we rent the nfts and how we provide uh, you know opportunities to the uh, to the investors to rent out their nfts not not only the guilds but also uh, also anyone else like uh, for example you know someone is uh, into scholars uh, program already so something like that uh so we would see a lot of players uh, joining arsenal because of the uh, renting mechanism that we have uh, developed and it is going to, and it is a very very nicely designed uh for now i would say if if you please you know if you are aware of it but we have not seen such kind of a uh i pr- uh, design you know to rent out nfts which would also benefit um the players the scholars which would benefit the project and also it would benefit the owners of the nfts and it's very dynamic uh, so you would you will come to know we will you know uh, give you a nice description of how it's done of course with an article uh um, you know everything that i'm trying to explain is for the next year because after this we are going to meet uh, directly in 2023 uh so that's where we are at with arsenal uh the now i spoke about fan world arsenal and uh, the initial you know the base for uh, for for the mini game which is h2 uh the base for the game is done uh we build the boards and we are going to go into next year uh, because now anyway it's really not favorable to do inos so we'll be going into next year with two inos one is a special series and one uh for the commencement of h2o uh also with h2o uh, now the, the the team is working on expanding the game in terms of providing you more maps and also in terms of nft side where the boards can be uh if i put it in this way the boards can be um for 
developed or advanced based upon what you can you know buy in the market and make them and that will also bring value to what you do uh, your investments will not go in vain so that's how the game is designed so so three games are done and we working on another mini game i wouldn't re re reveal any much details but it's going on it's it's cool it's a very sexy game i would say uh so uh, you know a lot to do in that in the in the in the next next year so once fan build will be live we have to start the uh functioning of universal nfts which is the interoperable nfts uh so the tech for it is ready it's, it's not a very difficult part mm, and we uh, once the marketplace is live uh, everything you know will will also come to live like the nfts being displayed on it and uh, we'll try to categorize the nfts according to the game and also according to uh, other uh, popular categories let's say you know let's if you can take it as price collections or whatever <clears throat> uh if i want to talk about something on the marketing side uh we have uh an event coming up with uh, how if if i call them if they, they are a, they are an esports platform and uh, they have tie ups with one of the biggest esports e platform in the world and this event is co-organized by polygon uh the dates are not yet decided but we have the initial promos and we have the uh schedule of the of the program how it is going to be and the good part is uh favel will be one of the keynote uh, speaking company uh, meaning uh, we would address our products uh what are we working on our technology um and anything related that could be spoken of uh to an audience of let's say 10 million maybe uh and it would happen digitally on a metaverse in a metaverse uh probably some of the known metaverse uh i if this can be said but yeah just take it as metaverse <clears throat> so this is a very cool thing which is going to happen next year and the the uh, the event is on february but we would start promotions and um, from polygon side from all the esports industry probably from the mid of january so it would would, would get us a lot of uh, attention and traffic on that side hmm okay so devi am i missing something you want to add something to this or uh you know let's go to the question at part so maybe you know i would be able to cover up the topics which i'm missing so anyone would want to ask something suggest something or say something please go for it Oh, surprising! No one wants to say something or ask something. Everything's Hello. clear. Hello. Yeah, Abhishek. Good day. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Good evening, Light. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I have a question. Oh, Light. Yes, yeah, please. I have two questions. Please, yeah, yeah ask a question. question. Yeah. The first question is like regards um the last EM we had on Twitter. Yeah, I was opportune to ask question on few other guys, but I observed that um, there was no announcement as regard the rewards that was in the. Uh huh. No, 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 no. Uh, the announce. I'm I'm not very sure, but uh, didn't they notify you that you're the winner? 
Yeah, no, the problem here is not is not something serious. I actually asked in the group, but the admins were not really given any answer. That's why I decided to ask. So yep. it's by the way. Mm -hmm. You're talking about which AMA? Uh, the with Media I, right? No, no, no. I'm not talking of that. Oh, I joined your space now. The first you have to. Google, you have not Media High. Not talking of Media High. Yeah, no, 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 no. You have uh, two rewards pending. One is Media Eye, and uh, one is the last space we did on Twitter. Both of uh, them will be done, let's say, in less than 24 hours. Okay, no, I never knew I was yeah. winner for that one. Yeah, with the Twitter announced. space, no, you, it was announced. You won the reward, and I announced it uh, on the space itself. But you were supposed to DM us your wallet address. Uh, if you have not done it, you can you know DM the FabBuild account. Uh, your polygon wallet address to receive your uh, your uh, yeah, reward i have uh, a wallet address of yours from media eye if it's the same then i would send both of the rewards to the same address would that work yeah yeah that's cool i, I guess media eye yeah, give you yeah. the address right okay, okay, okay. Uh, my question is mainly concerning the mobile game that will be launched on the 25th because they admit to the 25th specifically when I asked yeah. the group. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, so if when the game is launched, I want to know, would there be, with all the utility, like all those things available on, on the PC, would it also be available on the mobile or is restricted to some kind of things that is available on the PC? Uh, no, of course, you. there is no restrictions. Uh, uh, when the game is uh, there on the store, you will be able to download and play the game. And uh, if I may can say this exactly, it would be an exact replica of uh, PC. The only thing is it would be optimized for mobile. So that's all. Okay, okay. That's, yeah. that's the main thing I was because I've always been restricted all this while because many at times I don't really have access to the PC. That's why I want to be sure. Yeah. No problem. I understand. You know there are there are some uh, limitations uh, when you try to list the app on uh, on um, on Play Stores or Apple Stores. Apple Store has more uh, issues with uh, crypto related games. But for now, I mean, with Google, we did not face anything. Uh, so, and they also approved our alpha testing and uh, they approved the whole game. So I believe that uh, everything is intact and everything is in there. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you very much. I will, I will yeah. just do the creation now. Create that account. Yeah, sure. Thank you, man. Thank you for the patience. Uh, your reward yeah, will be yeah, right. tomorrow. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, right. Yeah. Nef. You were Hello. speaking, sorry. Yeah. What's up? Uh, Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, yeah, um, I say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Continue, please. By the way, thank yeah. you for all the videos. Yeah, I've got a question uh, about uh, NFTs for the multiplier. Mm -hmm. Um. So, if I'm correct, this uh, the NFT will be purchasable with wealth. Um, yeah. So say, for instance, like now you've got 550,000 wealth, that's for 10 times multiplier. Um, mm -hmm. Say, for instance, I buy that NFT. Yeah. Will that wealth be locked? And when I want to sell it, the 550,000 wealth will be given back? Or uh, uh, how are you guys going to do that one? Uh. No. Baby, you wanna? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Hi, baby. No. Hi, Dr. Neb. How are you? All right, self. Ah, it's a long time I've been in the AMA. It's nice. I've, but, I've uh, been in AMA, but with a different name because uh, on all the other platforms, my I use my real name. Yeah, no, no, no I know. For me, it was a long time. I always uh, listen, okay. but I'm always busy and I can't speak. But. Nice. Never mind. 
No, uh, the purpose, uh, like uh, we already have a system where you can stake and you can get the multiplier and you can get it back easily whenever you want. Uh, but the NFT system will be basically for scholarships and renting or if you don't like to have your wealth on a stake uh, uh, portal, you can buy an NFT as a multiplier. But it's not like it's being escrowed to something you're really buying. Uh, you will have the option, of course, to sell. Uh, but you are really buying, and uh, the reason also is um, uh, so that you own the NFT and you can use it up for rental in a rental system. Abhishek already mentioned a little bit, uh, um, but we are creating a rental system where you can rent your NFT. You can put uh, several uh, parameters on it, like uh, earning sharing or uh, uh, how much a day, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but you basically buy and own the NFT. Okay, cool. Will there be a set amount of uh, of the NFTs? Sorry? Uh, will there be like a max supply of that NFT, like the multiply NFTs? Um, or will, doesn't it matter? Uh, if no, you, if you get what I'm saying. Will there be like yeah, yeah. max 200 or max 100 of those NFTs for sale? No, not initially. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it's just purchasable with wealth, I presume. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, that's good. That's that's very good. It will be uh, purchasable on our marketplace and uh it can be used on the uh, rental uh, platform okay cool thanks that's all yep. anyone else has questions or something to say whatever No more questions? Then if there are no more questions, uh, we would uh, you know, conclude the AMA. And uh, I wish you everyone a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. So we'll meet you again in two weeks in 2023. Man, it was so fast. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.